Hello everybody, welcome back to a monthly fashion report. This is going to be January's one. Um, it's now like the second week in February, so I feel like I'm a bit late with it, but better late than never, as they say. Um, January work-wise is never that mental for me, so it means into, like in these videos I always have things I've been sent for projects, but that's always less in January, um, which is nice. And then we'll pick up again in February. So there's not too much new stuff this month. Um, and most of it is things that I've bought. No, that's a lie. It is stuff I've been gifted, but not necessarily for projects. So, let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with the category of denim, because there's three new pairs of jeans. I'm going to start with the ones that I like. I'm wearing one pair of them now, but Levi sent me two pairs of their new style jean called the Column Jean, which are in the Levi's made and crafted realm, which is slightly more expensive than just normal Levi's. Um, and the column jeans, they're so good. Size down. I'm in a waist 25 and they there's a bit of breathing room and normally, as you know from testing basics, um, I'm like a pretty much dead on a waist 26. So go one size down if you can. Um, they are so good. I, like I said, I have the white ones, which are really thin denim actually, um, which I wouldn't normally like, but it's not like thin stretchy, it's still very stiff, it's kind of thin cottony almost, if that make, describes it well. And then the blue ones here as well, and they just sort of look like the kind of vintage style of Levi's that we all know and love. Really nice through the leg, really straight leg, high waisted, really flattering over the bum, just really good jeans. These in my eyes are better than the ribcage ones, I think they look better. Um, and yeah, the quality is amazing. These. Uh, white ones have like blue stitching down the seams which is such a nice little detail I'll, obviously you'll see more in the cutaways but they just fit really well over the waist and everything pockets are a bit turned out there but you can see the the blue stitching and stuff quite clearly there um they're really 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 good I'm really excited about them so that was an exciting gifting from Levi's thank you Levi's um and I think they'll be great. To, I'm enjoying them wearing my knits like this with stuff untucked, but I think they'll look great in the summer with t-shirts tucked in and things. So big, big thumbs up to them. Um, less successful jean purchase. I bought these. These are from Totem. Now you guys know I have my washed black Totem jeans, which are some of my most worn jeans. They were in the video that I did about the most worn pieces of 2019. And then when I did that video, I was like, I really should get these in a different wash because I've worn them so much. And I would really like a light wash version of them. Um, obviously styling like a black or really dark gray wash jean is quite different to styling um, a mid wash one. So I ordered the exact same, same size, same I have the waist 26, like 30. Two. <laughs> um, uh, exact same and they just don't look the same and I should I should have sent them back but I put them on and I was like no yeah these look good it's not so much I'm interested I haven't filmed the cutaways for this yet so I'll be interested to see if on video what it looks like and what you guys think because when I put them on and look in the mirror I'm like yeah really like these and then when I look back at a photo of them which is obviously quite specific to what I do for a job I'm like oh these really don't look that nice they don't look anywhere near as good as the wash black ones, which are so flattering and are so good for styling with literally everything. Any type of shoe, any type of outerwear, for daytime, for evening, they're so versatile, which is what I was hoping for with these, but there's just something that isn't as good about them. And I, I can't put my finger on what it is um, because they still fit really well over the bum, over the waist, they're really nice and straight through the leg. The color of the denim's really nice. But there's just something that I'm like, what is it that doesn't look good? Like, mum was here last weekend and took loads of photos of me when we were out and about in a day. And all the full length ones, I was like, mm, these jeans just look really not quite right. Um, so let me know what you guys think, because I honestly, I couldn't tell you what it, what's going on or why something feels off with them. Um, but yeah, this this was a not a successful jean purchase, which is so annoying because um, I often don't often buy premium denim. You guys know I love like, well, I love Levi's, which are premium, I suppose, but like weekday and stuff for jeans, I think are brilliant. Um, but those Totem ones, the washed black ones had seemed so worth it. So these are like 190 quid, which is more than I would normally spend on jeans. Um, and it's not been a good purchase, which is very frustrating. Anywho, another totem thing, which another meh totem thing. I, oh god, I don't know if you guys remember. In the December 
yes, in the December monthly fashion report, I was saying how I'd sold a bag via Farfetch and got a voucher. And with the voucher, bought that Prada belt, which I've been wearing so much that I showed you last time, and a jumper from Toe 10, but the jumper hadn't arrived yet. So this was technically in December. Um, I didn't pay for it because it was bought with a voucher, but I sold something to get the voucher. And I remember saying last time I couldn't decide if that meant it was gifted or not. So I ordered this, which I've been looking at online loads. Um, and I do really like it. It's a black knit with like a polo neck. Neck. That was that really described it. Polo neck was all I needed to say. Um, it's got a really thick rib detail on it. It's nice and oversized. Just looks good thrown on with stuff. Um, but honestly, not wild about the cut and everything. Normally what I love about Totem so much is that they do really simple pieces but the cut on them is just beautiful so it'll just hang slightly differently and it makes it feel premium basically um, and this just doesn't have that it's got this breast pocket here and it's all like even if you iron it it's all like scrunched up and just a bit a bit scrunched up and doesn't look great um it's, this catches fluff so badly it's like covered in fluff and hair which is absolutely delicious um, so yeah, I, I will wear it a lot going forward, I know I will, it looks great like a white t-shirt and just slung on over your jeans or whatever or tucked in, it, it does look great but I wouldn't recommend spending however much this costs, I can't remember how much it was, like I said I bought it with a voucher, maybe it's like 350 quid I want to say, it's definitely not worth that much money, um, which is like I say not what I would normally say about Totem but it, it's a nice jumper but you could like Arquette great for jumpers like this. So even like Sunspell, if you wanted to spend a bit more, do would do a great jumper like this. This just isn't isn't quite cutting the mustard. So that was another unsuccessful moment. Um, right, let's move on to some more gifted stuff. Arquette, I've got two things sent to me from Arquette this month. One was a fleece for the gym, which is really specific, but I needed a new fleece for the gym. I had one that was years old from Urban Outfitters that had molted so much. It just got to the stage in its life where wherever I went in it, it left a lot of itself behind. So I wanted another fleece. Um, I like wearing these to the gym because then you like start your workout in your fleece and then when you get too hot, take it off, but it's good for going to and from. And this was just a really, really bloody good one. So I wanted to mention it. Um, I don't often talk about workout gear because if I'm honest, I very rarely get new ones. I just tend to get it from Nike and I find it lasts for years, so that's fine by me. Um, but yeah, this is from Arquette. It's got, I'm going to have to put my hand through the sleeve to show you. It's got these little thumb things, which if anyone remembers wearing bench hoodies in like the early 2000s, it's very reminiscent of that, which I really like. Um, also quite nice even exercising with, with this on. I guess not if you were lifting any heavy weights, but... Um, and it's just got a hood and it's cropped at the front, a bit longer at the back, split at the side. It looks really, I would also wear it in not a gym environment under a blazer or something, but it's just a really good piece for going to the gym, especially if like me, like sometimes I'd travel nearly an hour to get to my personal trainer. So if you're out and about in between and then like running errands and want to look nice in your gym clothes, it's just a really, really good piece. So I wanted to mention that. It's also been through the wash a couple of times already because like I said, I do do a workout in it, so it needs washing um, and it's fine. It's not like the old Urban Outfit one I had, which was shedding itself everywhere. So that's good. And another good one from Arcare, which I'm wearing a heck of a lot, was a new black blazer. So um, I ended up putting this piece as well in my most worn of 2019, but the Arcare blazer I had last winter, um, not last winter. I actually, I reckon I did get it last winter. Um, and I still have, and I absolutely love it, it's such a good blazer, they do brilliant, brilliant blazers. Um, I wanted something that was a tiny bit more oversized, definitely could be argued and you could all tell me off for being excessive because they're very similar, same fabric and everything. This has just got slightly bigger shoulders, slightly padded shoulders but not too much, and it is just slightly more boxy fitting, whereas the other one I have, I'll show you them both in the cutaway so you can see and I can see how ridiculous I'm being having both um, but the other one is slightly more slim fitting and just not as oversized so I picked this out um, and it, I also went a few sizes up I believe let me check what size it is I can't move their labels around just to keep you on your toes 38 so it's one size up to normal for me um, it's such a good blazer though, it looks so good honestly, they they just do great 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 tailoring, I really think their blazers are some of the best you can get on the high street, um, and I've been wearing it quite a lot, I'm loving it with like jumpers over the shoulder, just on, like today feels like a spring day really, it doesn't feel like uh, the middle of winter at all, 
Um, so it's just so good for those sort of days and looks really nice. And I mean, it's a black blazer. We all know the endless ways you can style it. So I've been loving this piece. Those were two really good pieces from Arquette. Um, another gifted piece. I'm working with Cezanne. Uh, I think this content will be going live. Oh, probably in February. So in the next monthly fashion. But this I picked up in store. Um, it was available. They had some more left at the store on Westmore Grove in London, in Notting Hill. But I know it's sold out online. I believe it's coming back in stock in March, but please don't don't hold me to that. Um, I'll try to find the link for it if it's anywhere and if there's like a sign up here when I'm back in stock then maybe do that because this uh, people seem to go wild for this jumper and rightly so. They've done just what they do so well which is the French look, <laughs> obviously it's a French brand, um, with this jumper with a stripe, now is that black or is that blue? That's navy blue. Um, and then these really nice tortoiseshell buttons, it just looks so bloody good basically it's such a good jumper really nice lightweight as well so good for this time of year to move into spring this one looks so good with like white jeans these these white jeans as well or just any jeans or your tailored trousers whatever i've spent a lot of time this past month in tailored trousers because that was the testing basics i did um and this with the philippa k ones that were in that video which are just so good and i'm still loving so much um, like, yeah, just such a good combination. So I wanted to give this another mention. I got it in a size small, fits perfect. It's a nice, slightly oversized fit, but I just, you're gonna see me in this a lot. I know, through spring especially. Um, great under a blazer, just so simple and chic. Big thumbs up to this. And now, let's move on to some accessories. So like I said, I wore that, I've been wearing that Prada belt loads. I knew I would because of how much I was missing the Chanel belt, so it's just been, a really good one to wear again. Um, I've also been wearing non-stop this month and last month the Sophie Hume Bolt bag. It's like one I put down for a bit in favour of others and then whenever I get back into wearing it again I'm just reminded of how much of an amazing bag it is. Um, so I've been using that most days and loving it both crossbody and down one shoulder as well. It's such a good bag. Um, but yeah shoes. I'm gonna one of the pieces that were in the video last month I bought these. I think I've worn them twice. It was one of those purchases that I was really confident in, in like, and we'll love these, I love Converse, they're cream, I've worn my like off-white Supergas loads and still wear them loads, and so I thought these are obviously, I'm just gonna wear them all the time. I haven't, I don't know what it is, I'm, I'm not giving up on them, but so far they these have been a misguided purchase from me. I don't know if it's because they're a high top, I'm so into low tops with white socks or black socks or whatever, that styling wise it's leaving me a bit stumped but I really didn't think I would have this problem with them I'm not finding them uncomfortable I'm one of those people that can wear converse and find them comfortable instantly I don't have to break them in so it's not that you can tell they're not being worn like they literally look like brand new so so far these haven't been a good purchase but let's see maybe as it gets a bit warmer I'll be a bit more into them because converse are ridiculously cold shoes but yeah, so far, not great. Um, and then let's end on a big splurge of this year. Bought these loafers. I ordered them on Netta Porter. I actually better go get put a rubber sole put on them, pretty sharpish. They are a black suede, very simple loafer from Kate. They're very expensive. Kate is an eye-wateringly expensive, expensive brand. Um, and I saw them on Netta Porter. I actually saw them on Instagram first and then saw them on Netta Porter. And was just like, these are like the Celine loafers for me. I know how much I'm going to wear them. And they are beautiful. They Because they're suede, they feel a bit more high maintenance than the Celine ones. Like, I've worn the Celine ones in the rain loads and they've always been fine. But I haven't been wearing these in the rain, obviously. Um, so I haven't worn them loads this month because the weather's been generally quite shit. And it is still a bit too cold for bare ankles. Um, but they are beautiful. They're so simple. I love the fact that they're suede because they're such a matte black. Um, they do feel quite different to style than my Gucci loafers. Don't like how these look with black socks because it's all matte black. It, you can't, everything gets a bit lost, whereas the Gucci men's ones are obviously patent leather, so you get a different in the texture, um, difference in the texture. Um, but the shape of these on the foot, they're so flattering. They make the foot look so slim. Um, they're, so, they're just so beautifully simple. They do have them in tan as well, which is gorgeous, but like I said, I still have and love my Celine ones. So you can actually see them just there in the corner. So they, um, I don't, didn't need another tan pair of loafers. Um, 
and I will know I'm just going to absolutely wear these to death which is why I very quickly should go get a sole on them before they get worn too much in fact I might do that today um but they're just beautiful really comfortable really just gorgeous I'm so pleased with them um, and they are hugely expensive they're just one of those pieces that I know I will wear so much through how much I've worn previous loafers that I've had and so I could justify that price um but of course it's like total personal preference if you ever want to spend such a daft amount of money on shoes It'd be very understandable if the answer to that is no um but yeah these are a beauty I am so pleased with them and just can't wait to be able to wear them more and more um and that is everything for this monthly fashion report i will be back obviously next month with another one which i think will have probably a bit more in it um but yeah i hope you enjoyed links for everything in the description box everything is available still maybe except the suzanne jumper which like i said though if you can sign up for it i, I don't know i'll have to look on the website um, but i'll leave a link for whatever i can find um and yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always and i'll see you in the next one